Hey guys, welcome back to Nicole's View. So this story here, uh, you can file it under, we're not surprised. Uh, these are these cave uh, beasts doing what they do, trying to make our lives as miserable as possible. And in the sport of hockey, uh, we know that they are well known for their disgusting, uh, low down cave beast behavior. So I'm reading this from cbsnews.com and it says black NHL player responds to fans racist or racial taunts. Buffalo, New York. Washington Capitals forward Devontae Smith Pelly is disgusted and saddened. Black athletes such as himself continue to be the targets of racial taunts from fans. It's sad that in 2018, we're still talking about the same thing over and over. Smith Pelly said Sunday, a day after he was singled out by four fans in Chicago. Here we go. You'd think there would be some sort of change or progression. Uh, Mr. Pelly, brother, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but uh, these devils are emboldened. We have to remember that who is running the White House right now, all right? This has not magically disappeared. We are in deep with these devils, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to call it like it is. We have to call it like it is. Um, the comments were Smith Pelly's first a day after four fans were ejected from Chicago's United Center for chanting a racial taunt while he served a penalty for fighting during the Capitals' 7-1 loss to the Blackhawks. Now, we know that hockey is notoriously known for teams getting into fights, blah, blah, blah. So I guess he had to sit out for a bit. And these devils, here they go. An off-ice official sitting next to Smith Pelly notified building security and the fans were ejected. I'm actually shocked by that. Smith Pelly confirmed the fans were chanting basketball, 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 and understood immediately what it meant in being directed at a black hockey player in a sport dominated by white athletes. Smith Pelly said he was confronted with a similar chant during a tournament in British Columbia. <laughs> so all we can do is basketball, uh, football, and, and that's it. Okay, you know, and when there are in, uh, white people are in those sports, basketball and football, we, we don't do that. We, we don't do that to them, but, but they, in their demonic nature, do it to us constantly. All right, so this brother, he, I guess he had enough. Just imagine if that window wasn't there. And this is, it doesn't have sound, but this is the, uh, I guess the gif of him hearing it, hearing them say basketball, basketball, basketball. Basically they're saying, nigga, go back to what uh, you should be doing. All right, we don't want to see you in hockey. We don't want to see you, uh, what is it, in race cars. They damn sure don't want to see you in golf. All right, you know, because in their eyes, that's their sport, not yours. That's their sport. And so here's another gift. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you can. Where he got up. He was ready to go. <laughs> he got the stick. <laughs> if that window wasn't there, that stick probably would have been right down his throat. <laughs> and too bad. <laughs> too damn bad it was there. <laughs> so, yeah, he, he was getting ready to go off. And he goes on to say, he said he stepped forward publicly to call out the fans for what they said because he didn't want to brush it under the rug. I guess I'm trying to get the conversation started and show whoever these people were their true colors, said Smith Pelly, following practice in Buffalo where the Capitals will play the Sabres. I don't know if I'm not saying that right, but okay. On Monday, NHL Commissioner Gary Batman released a statement saying the league condemns the fans' behavior and backs the Black Hawks for ejecting the offenders. Batman says no one should ever have to endure such abuse at one of our games. A video shows Smith Pelly seated 
and looking and pointing to his left he then gets up as you guys saw with his stick and gets into an exchange through the glass with a male fan seated immediately next to the penalty box Bettman said the NHL plans to remind all stakeholders they are entitled to enjoy a positive environment free from unacceptable, uh, inappropriate, disruptive, inconsiderate, or unruly behaviors or actions and may not engage in conduct deemed detrimental to that experience. The Blackhawks issued a statement apologizing to Smith Pelly and the Capitals following the game and said they are committed to providing an ex inclusive environment. Okay. Well, looks like you need to get more black players <laughs> then. Uh, on Sunday, the Capitals released a statement saying they are extremely disappointed by the intolerant behavior by a select group of fans in Chicago and thanking the Blackhawks and Arena security for re removing the fans. The Capitals said it is crucial to confront such appalling conduct. After the game on Saturday, Coach Barry Trott said the player was a little upset. There's absolutely no place in the game of hockey or our country for racism. And I think it's disgusting. Trott said it just shows ignorance. The 25-year-old Smith Pelly is in his first season with the Capitals. He also has played for Anaheim, Montreal, and New Jersey. Hmm, interesting. The fans' uh, taunts occurred during the NHL's month-long Hockey is for Everyone campaign. <laughs> oh, the irony. Hockey for Everyone campaign to promote the game being inclusive for all players, regardless of race, color, religion national origin or gender february is also <laughs> black history month in the united states the nhl has had to previously deal with racial insults during the 2014 playoffs the boston bruins denounced fans who posted racial comments on social media targeting then montreal canadians defenseman pk saban who is black after he scored in double overtime. In 2011, a fan was fined 200 bucks after pleading guilty to engaging in a prohibited activity for throwing a banana on the ice at Philadelphia Flyers forward Wayne Sidmans, who is black. During an ex exhibition game at London, Ontario, CBSSports.com noted the incident includes or comes during the NHL's Hockey is for Everyone Month, which aims to drive social change and promote diversity and inclusiveness in the game of hockey. <laughs> uh, these devils, they're not going to stop. I mean, I guess you can appreciate them trying, but I guess until you really get some uh, more black people or black men playing hockey, expect more of this. I mean, look at this. <laughs> you see how he got up? He's like, oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh, I didn't piss this nigga off. And he got his, his stick to <laughs> I wish, I wish he would have just put the stick over the damn window. <laughs> but, you know, he had to control himself. But this is, this is what we deal with. This is what we deal with. It just doesn't end. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And black people, you could sit up here. You could say, I'm just so shocked. No, you should not be shocked. This is who they are. This is who they are. They've never stopped. They're, they're even more excited. They're more emboldened. They're more anxious to just say it how it is. Because of who is running this country, even more so. So no, I'm not shocked. This is what they do. This is what they do. So let me know what you think. Are we shocked? No. Too bad he couldn't break the damn window and, and, and kick his ass. You know, that would have been something to see. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think about this story, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.